Now, Democrats need to pick up 23 seats in order to take back control of the House of Representatives. Now, while progressives are hoping to ride a massive blue wave to take control of the House, I've got my eye on the Minnesota 8th Congressional District, which Republicans are hoping to turn to Republican control for the first time since 1947. That's because Pete Stauber, the Republican, is running against Joe Radinovich, the Democrat, and we're calling this race trumped up on tariffs. Why? Because if you look at the northeastern part of Minnesota, this is what's known as the Iron Range. And now, while the business community has been lobbying aggressively against President Trump's proposed tariffs on steel and aluminum imports, here in the Iron Range, it's playing particularly well. And in fact, the president himself campaigned there for Pete Stauber in the summer, as did Vice President Mike Pence. And they recently lifted a rule for copper mines, two copper mines that potentially could go in this particular district in Obama-era regulation, and Pete Stauber is claiming credit for that. Meanwhile, we should note that 4 percent of all the jobs in this district are directly tied to the mining industry. Now, for his part, Joe Radinovich is arguing that Republicans are going to cut entitlement programs like Medicare. You'll remember Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said that that potentially might be on the table for the next Congress. So one to watch, trumped up on tariffs, Minnesota 8th Congressional District.